Back in the late 1980s, sustainability was a foreign concept, and we saw less and less fish coming from the boats. In the 1990s, we realized that our oceans were in trouble. And it wasn't just the whales and dolphins that were in trouble, it was the fish themselves. No one made any claims about sustainability of a, a fishing or seafood company. Globally, our seafood supply chain is incredibly complicated. Not only are people fishing all over the world for the certain species that we demand, but also we're transporting it from all over those parts of the world to where the markets are. Wild capture fishery stocks have plateaued over the past two decades. And even with more sustainable wild capture fisheries, you won't see higher catch volumes. Tuna, in general, is one of the only animals that's eaten en masse that isn't farmed. And so it's something that really is in danger because of the way that we produce it, because of the way we consume it. The IPCC report that came out was very clear that we have about a decade to avoid the worst impacts of climate change. So what are we going to do about it? Finless was founded on a core principle that we want to have a thriving ocean. So we're aiming for something that currently isn't filled on the market. We're doing an alternative for raw tuna specifically. Our scientific process is basically taking some cells from inside of a fish, pulling them out, growing them up into larger amounts of themselves. What you need to do at that point is get those cells to sit on a scaffold, attached to the scaffold and form muscle fibers. And so in doing that, you know, we found a lot of great options for our scaffolds, for our cellular. But we also realized we just had a really good plant-based product at that point. We decided to move that to market as well. Strategically, Michael always emphasizes that the product should compete on market metrics. Taste, texture, your interaction with the product. Will it meet your expectations if you're a meat eater? And that has been the bar that has been set for our plant-based tuna, and specifically for a raw tuna counterpart. Look, seafood is the most traded commodity on Earth. It moves around more than any other thing we eat. With our technology, we can make seafood completely geographically agnostic. It solves the issue of seafood spending a ton of time in transit, which can eventually result in spoilage and foodborne illness sometimes. But also it solves a lot of carbon as an issue. It has the potential to expand our seafood supply without any downsides for our oceans. For the first time, this new industry of cell-cultured and plant-based seafood really has the potential to expand our seafood supplies in ways that we'd never had before. We actually provide like a serious advantage for operators. Right now, tuna prices fluctuate pretty wildly based on like wild caught catch. And for us, we don't really have that issue. So we can provide people like a stable tuna supply um, at a stable price. Tuna in the wild bioaccumulate toxins like heavy metals and pesticides. So there's a significant risk of contamination. You know, we're producing fish with no mercury, with no plastic. We're also creating what can be a local seafood supply of any species. Is finless an ocean shot or a moon shot solution? We need all of it. We need multiple ocean shots. We need multiple moon shots so that we can have an ocean in the future that thrives.